hello guys welcome to how to fix tech in this video guys we are going to install the Kali Linux on our laptop or the systems so steps will be same for all if we want to make a dual boot your system the steps will be same but there is some changes while installation so let's start without wasting our time so first of all we need to download the ISO of the Kali Linux so open the any browser which you use and on the search bar you need to type here Kali Linux download just go to first official website of Kali Linux and once you go here go to this installer images and click on this option installer images then this will redirect you to the installer now you can choose here the 32 bit or I'm going to choose here 64 bit so click on that and you will see here the download option click on installer and the second software we need to have is Rufus in order to make the bootable pen drive of Kali Linux go to search bar tab there Rufus download and open the first link and go to this installer and click on latest one this option close the advertisement now it is downloaded I have already downloaded the Rufus but still so you can see here 3.9 GB Kali Linux is ISO file so it will take some time in my case it is going to take around 10 to 15 minutes so let me pause the video and before that let me show you that you should have at least 8 GB of pen drive we are going to install the Kali Linux with the USB in my case this is my USB so make sure you have you don't have any data in your USB it will be erased so it is downloading now so let me pause the video and I will resume once the ISO file is downloaded okay it's almost done now 30 seconds left so at the time of making video this is the latest 23.4 this is the latest Kali Linux operating system as you can see here the ISO has been downloaded go to download option here and we have downloaded the Rufus and the ISO it is not downloaded yet okay so it is downloaded now as you can see here the Kali Linux as well as the Rufus so we need to double click on the Rufus in order to run it and make sure you inserted your pen drive now so I have already inserted my pen drive as you can see here so all the data will be lost from the pen drive already told you that the Rufus will automatically pick your pen drive you need to click on the yes button when the prompt opens of Rufus as you can see it is automatically up here and it is already picked my pen drive you can see here this is a pen drive so you need to select here the ISO file from here make sure you leave it as default here click on select and we are going to pick the ISO from the download option as you can see it is already recommended click on this option ISO of Kali Linux and click on open now it is going to mountain now click on start all the data will be lost click on ok yes all the data will be lost ok so it is going to now making the bootable pen drive of Kali Linux let's wait some time here once it is done I will resume the video again now bootable pen drive is ready now so let me close this if I go to here now you can see Kali Linux bootable files are here so we are ready now so let me eject it and I am going to insert my pen drive into the 
another system where I'm going to install the Kali Linux. So I'm making the video with my phone. So this is my laptop and this is my USB pen drive. So let me insert it into the laptop. Now you need to have the knowledge what is the BIOS key on your laptop. I mean the bootable key. So in my HP laptop, it will be F10 and in the Dell laptop or the system, it will be F12. So let me press here the power button and continuously hit the F10 key. Let me enter. We need to make sure that we have booted from the pen drive. So go to the configuration, then go to boot options, hit enter. Now, once you hit enter, come to the UEFI, this partition. Now you can see, now you will see the bootable order is the OS boot manager is here. So we need to make sure that we have booted from the USB hard disk or the hard disk. Okay. So we need to change it. So in order to move the bootable USB or the pen drive up and down, we need to press F5 or the F6. So let me press here F5. Now it is going down with the F5. We need to make sure on the top. So let me press F6 here. Now it is on the top now, UFI boot order. So let me press F10 here to save and click on yes. And my system is going to boot from the USB now. And Kali Linux is going to install. You can see. Now you will see here the options like this. Choose the first option, hit enter, graphical install. Okay, you will see here the English. So let it as default, click on continue here. Now you will see here the reason, select, so I'm going to select India here. And then click on next. I mean continue okay so leave it as American English click on continue detecting the installation media just wait here load install all components from the installation media Again, you need to wait. Detect network hardware. It is going to detect the Wi Fi card as well as the. You can see here. Let me click on continue. Okay, continue. Now I need to here type here the password. The the Wi-Fi password I need to type here. So let me put it the password here. Now I have put the password and it is taking to attempt to connect with the Wi-Fi. Now successful connected. Now you can see here you want to use the host name here. So what what host name you want to give it? So I'm going to leave it as default Kali, then click on continue here. Now the domain name, let me post a test. Continue. Now you need to select here the username. This is also very important here. So I'm going to give it test. And then click on continue here now it is recommending me the name you can change it here this is recommending the test user okay click on continue again 
now password i need to type here let me put the password and let me continue it i mean the confirm then click on continue again so it is taking the partition disks so here is the most important part in this video if you are just installing the linux in your system just choose this option entire disks but if you want to make it dual bootable you need to select here the manual disk here so select that option now you will see here all the details of your disks so expand your you can see here this is my kingston drive and it is 120 now if we see here i'm going to select here the free disk here free space i mean here and in the other there is a windows in it so i'm not going to use them so let me select here the enter button here and click on this option create a new partition now i am going to select here the first partition is for the bootable files let me give it 1 gb for bootable files and then click on here continue and you need to select here the beginning and click on continue now you will see here the windows like this so choose this option use use as ext4 journaling file system you need to double click on the mount mount point double click and select it at boot static files of the bootloader okay and click on continue once you click on continue choose this option done setting up the partition and then click on continue now if you see here you can see here the 999 MB is ext4 it means the boot partitions the boot files we have created it so we need to select here the free space which is this option so I'm going to hit enter now free space and new partition let it select automatically hit enter now leave it as default it is taking almost 22 gb 50 gb is recommended to use a linux machine but i am going to show you just for how to install that so click on continue now leave it as default here now done the setting up the partition select that option and click on continue now you can see here 22 gb is created here ext4 and ext4 is boot files so once we have created that we need to click on this option finish partition and write changes to the disks while we selected that option this option and then click on this option and click on continue yes now kali linux is almost ready installing the base system now you will see here select a install software just wait it will automatically pick so i recommend you to leave this as default here and then click on continue option